So as you can see here, um, we got some noodles and you know some Asian stuff. Um, it's a bit quiet at this store, but uh, I must admit I'm a bit shy to talk over here. Um, so I'm just doing a voiceover if you can hear me, guys. Thank you for um, viewing my channel. So we are at Wilston Green in the UK at Northwest London. So Mia's Oriental Food is one of the other branches that they have around London. I think they have five or four shops already. So you will see that the manager will be around at the till. Uh, I have a permission from him. He's very happy for me to um, to blog around to do this. Um, he said that it could help to boost, you know, um, more sales so hopefully um you guys enjoy this um browsing around uh, it's a bit boring for some some of you from some others but for me um it's uh for some other people i think i would be a bit of help to help you guys um see what's in store and how much they are nowadays this noodles they used to be four a pound or even before five years ago five four pound now it's three for one pound or one pound twenty now it's gone up um in philippines if you're listening from philippines these are the prices in the uk how much is that in peso um you have to multiply it by at least um 70 pesos so one pound is equal to 70, depending on the um, the rate, ranging from 70 pesos a pound. So more or less, it's, it's the same. An average um, OFW or people who earn money per month is about a thousand pounds or 800 pounds, depending um, on what they're working for. So the budget must be like 200 or 300 pounds per month for food food shopping so here are the prices ranging up that's my favorite star margarine you mixed up with rice so i hope you guys enjoy this and thank you so much for watching these uh, pinakurat is the vinegar. It's one of the famous vinegar that they have. I think it's from Cebu. These sauce are like gravy sauce. They're very nice. That's a Philippine classic ketchup right there. And the vinegar from Buenas. So some products, they come all over Asia. Some from Thailand, Philippines, Korea, um, where else? Or Taiwan, I'm not sure. They got all sorts of range of um, food products. Some of my Filipino friends, they like making halo halo. Halo halo is mix mix meaning it's like a shaved um, ice and then you can put flavors in them look at that sauce they have different type of sauce they're so spicy i myself uh, learned tried to learn many years now how to eat spicy and i i cannot take much spicy maybe a kick of a spice if i go to nando's i will um order a lemon herb um flavor than than a medium one because then i can blend it if there's a hot spicy sauce and i could put some sauce on my nando's chicken but yeah i'm a bit uh, a baby of um 
you know, when it comes to hot and spicy food. So we come into the um, frozen section. These are vegetable gyoza uh, dumplings. Uh, these much more cheaper, obviously, than buying in a restaurant. Um, the problem is with some of us is, you know, when you're renting a room, um, you don't have much space in the freezer. <laughs> So you come by the day if you if you fancy to eat dumplings, um, just try to you know consume it in a day. Eat it in one go and in in one day. So that's the problem. If you if you want to hoard, if you want to buy loads of those stuff, and you want to keep it, so whenever you feel like, um, you know having a feeling to eat some of the dumplings at least you can take it out of the freezer but you don't have that uh, facility sometimes oh these are kick yams i love kick yams and fishbowl in the philippines these are the prices okay so where are we now we're at the uh Seasoning section. <laughs> yeah. So I hope um, whoever finds this video in 2024, middle of uh, April, these are the current prices, and I hope you guys find this helpful to see what's in store and what have or what they don't have the manager uh, told me that it's very or they don't have eden cheese craft eden cheese is one of the cheese that you get from philippines and it's very hard to get hold of um i think um it's the manufacturer who has a problem to manufacture more of eden cheese and to um, import them here all over the world. So that's one of the problem, I guess. He said he doesn't mind if these food products coming in delayed as long as we have them. But yeah, um, you know, times has changed. We used to have loads of different type of products coming from Philippines. And uh, if you have a chance, go to the Philippines. If you can't find these stuff um, that you like in, in the Filipino store, in the Asian store, you buy them in the Philippines and put it in your luggage. As long as it's allowed, obviously. So these are the ones that you make um, fruit salad of or making halo halo, as I mentioned. These are very famous when it comes to Filipino, uh, you know, gathering. Okay, again, these are frozen section. We are on the, um, this is the, we call it for lumpia. It's a spring roll wrapping, wrapping pancake. You can use them for wrapping up uh, vegetable spring rolls or pork spring rolls, whatever you fancy. And you fry them. Or you can make banana fritters. So these are the prices here in Wilston Green. Oh my, that's very nice. We steam them. You can put in a steamer. It cooks. These are half cooked, half cooked already. And you're just gonna put them in um, in a steamer, cook it for twenty minutes, and then dip it in the soy sauce with some lemon. Oh, 
I hope you don't find this boring. <laughs> I thought when I'm coming into the store, I said I'm going to take only 20 minutes just to browse around and, and do this little video clip. But it took me about over an hour um, yeah, to film this. So because because um, I want to make it slow, I want to take oh. a video that's slow and it looks like that you're browsing around instead of uh, in, instead of just filming it through you know what I mean if you if you video record it it doesn't want to make it too quick it just want to keep it still and hover for a while this one in Philippines we used them uh, I can't remember what's called to use that for rice take the stones out from the rice before you cook them so this is different types of coconut milk there's some certain coconut milk that's very nice to cook with and these are the prices as you can see this is from the sugar cane If you find it fast, you can always, um, you know, pause it from your device. Frozen fish. I hope you can see those prices clearly. Uh, at least you have an idea how much they cost. So some of these milk fish, they still have tiny bones in them, so you have to be careful when eating them. These ones, this is these are new to me, dried black fungus. That looks like a sponge, a bath sponge. <laughs> well, yeah, pineapple slices from Del Monte. Like yummy fruit salad. I remember when uh, in Philippines when we can't afford it and Filipinos normally think that you can afford it when you're in abroad that they're more or less cheaper or the same no like cheaper price I don't think so um, because you convert this to peso it's still expensive you know the only good thing is You still can afford it. So we got tilapia fish. I like the shop. Uh, this is. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small, and it's quite tidy for if you compare it to some other Asian shops they're very clean and tidy and uh, and it's they're, they're friendly and they they have a cat as well a ginger cat so this is um the bubble for the bubble tea you can put them there it's the first time I've seen this one I don't know how you how you use them how you put them in uh, making bubble tea but these are the ranges, different flavors. You can make them yourselves. Different flavors. One drop of this makes a lot of flavor. A lot of color. Jelly. Mr. Jelly. Mr. Gulaman. They have different types of flavor now. There's pandan. You know the uh, pandan pandan leaf? 
my grandmother used to put them she she used to have the plants in front of the house and she takes a few and uh, put them in the rice when she cooks rice it gives a lot of flavor it's very nice flavory rice pan down ginger juice oh that's called salabat yeah, ginger is good argentina these argentina corn beef they are from philippines these ones i don't know ube powder mega sardines I don't know how much they cost in Philippines now. Back in the days, there were five pesos, I guess. Century tuna is one of my favorite. These are the shellfish. Uh, we have squid, mussels. Tiger prawns, prawns, cooked prawns. The worst problem we face this year. Mogu mogu. Otto, I remember Otto. It's been around since I was young in the Philippines. I remember so, well, Pilipit. They used to sell them in a, in a bus. When from, because I'm from Tarlac, uh, when you take a bus going to Manila, um, some vendors, they come on the bus, they, they sell Pilipit. My mom used to buy them. My favorite, chocolate crinkles. Oh yeah, I'm not allowed to eat sweets as much as I used to. Just watching out for the sugar. Sky flakes. These guys, sky flakes is your lunch rescue. You know, to avoid ulcer. If you can't find a time to have lunch, at least you have a little, you know, piece in your pocket a little biscuit in your pocket and just you know try to have a bite at least um you will not develop um, a tummy ulcer or stomach ulcer because you're skipping lunch it does help a lot what are these from thai basil cubes uh, these ones are yeah bitter melon. so grated coconut and they're not fresh obviously it's frozen if you don't mind cooking them like that I'm wondering when this video is going to reach, which country does it reach to? Oh, look at this corn. The corn are not actually rotten. They're actually like that, those, those corns on the cob. It's my favorite. Edamame. Beans. Different type of pastries. ice cream some biscuits we have for tea these ones the chick chick chicaron they're like chicharron 
They like the um, pork crackling. Mm -hmm. Only they call chicken crackling. Snack. <laughs> Remember the advert. That high tempura. They're spicy ones. I'm looking for the regular ones. They haven't come in yet. I'm waiting for them to for them to arrive. It's one of my favorite ones. So we're nearly at the end. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Tang juice, powder juice, and nasty, they come from Philippines. Malungai. This one is new, Malungai coffee mix. I think they're like a herb coffee. And Copico, they come different flavors. They're very nice to to have it in your, you know, stash away in your bag. If you find a hot water cup and you just pour it in whenever you feel like it, on the go. So these are different rice. I can only carry about five kilo because it's too heavy. All spices. one of the reasons why I like to shoot this video is because I, I just want to show to you know some of my friends and to whoever wants to watch this to see the difference of the other product and different prices um, that they have especially people who watch this from from Philippines so they know um, what it's like or how it's how it's like that they're selling this in the UK in London Yeah, different flavors coming to the fridge section my favorite there is the aw i call them ow ow it's easier to remember it it's a cream soda it's a very nice drink i think they are american drink so they have dried fish in there as well do you it's called it t-u-y-o pre-cooked noodles that's famous pak choy one pound they're actually cheap in there some of them they call it, they they sell for two pounds or one pound fifty at least korean foods kimchi i may never know what it tastes like because they're so hot spicy tofu needle guys you see how much the needle cost when i come into the store and i see the vegetable section i find it like um I feel happy because and relieved and somehow it's like a happy feeling because they're very well arranged it's not overflowing it's just right um it, it's like it, you know you can see how they look after the vegetables the product that they have they're not just dump it in and don't tidy them up so it, it's very nice to look at these one are for leche flan, these tins.
different types of Tupperware. Oh gosh, $9.99 for the Pulveron Goldilocks. Roasted peanuts. We have the Hopia. Someone is doing the Hopia. My favorite one, Mamun. Then we have Balut, three pounds fifty each. They're already, um, I think they're already cooked, and you just cook it again. I'm not sure. You want to sell the products? <laughs> so this is the till area behind the till. I used to have the, uh, used to use the bubble gum on bench, the one in the pink cologne. <laughs> That's the manager smiling. Safeguard is the product of Philippines and famous Vicky Bello whitening soap and intra. So that is that's it guys. See you soon. Bye bye.